What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are at the same spot that I brought Finley to his first day at the beach. We are currently experiencing Hurricane Ian. It has not technically hit the west coast of Florida yet, but we are getting the outer bands. Right now we have a break in between bands, so we took all the kids out and we're just seeing how flooded it is and see if we can't catch a couple snook. Blue Gay brought the uh, big old cast net because there's usually always mullet here. We got some friends from the west coast over here. We got Chelsea, little Char Charlotte, Charlotte. Uh, Gavin, who's another seven-year-old little boy. Uh, Luke, Jake, our friend Tarzan, and Allie, yeah. the little one, right? Yeah. And then her husband, Tom, who's with Blind Date Charters over on the west coast. They're camping out at our house for a couple days just to kind of wait out the storm because unfortunately on the west coast, they are getting a direct hit. Over here on the east coast of Florida, which where we are, which is Stewart, um, we're just getting some outer bands, so nothing more than just a tropical storm. Wow, this is super, super high tide. Normally there's a beach that runs along right here and as you can see, it's completely full of water. Woo. Oh. Man, it's usually, I was gonna say, yeah, I, I just told them, usually there's a beach right here. You're definitely getting wet? Yeah. I think we all are. Oh, so right out here off the beach, there's perfect size finger mullet jumping. So normally we'll just wade out here, throw a cast net and catch some bait. Oh gosh, I'm sinking. Yeah, you just gotta ease out there. This right here is probably one of my favorite spots to snook fish from land. Ooh, it's windy. I shouldn't have a problem throwing the net with the wind. Yeah. Shakes over there, casting a plastic. I usually go out there waist deep and throw it. I don't have oh, look at them all bust over there near the mangroves. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Oh. I had the good zoom camera in there. Yeah, I should probably go get it. <laughs> sometimes you do, <laughs> sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. There's plenty of them though. <laughs> you probably got some. Look at them there right now. Oh, you got one, I think. You got a couple. You got half a dozen. They're a perfect one. Yeah. Oh, get Grab them. Get them. Yeah, I just them. Yo! Look. Oh, hi, they're getting hit. Kelly, they're getting hit right there. All right, let's throw this net again. Jake, just slow roll it through there. Just reel it, just reel it slow. Keep your rod tip up a little bit so it's not bumping bottom. Just reel it. The mullet aren't jumping, they're not zigging and zagging. If you have a paddle tail, that's what you need. You got something else than mullet in there, huh? Turn some of this bait out. Oh. Oh. I thought there was so much. Now we got some bait. Look at him, Shar. <laughs> I'm gonna catch one. He's gonna pull them up. They're all getting out. <laughs> so many. I know. I'm trying get to get bucket. Them. Grab the bucket. Gavin, go grab that white bucket. Hurry up. Gotta turn a bunch of them loose. Here, baby. Here, grab them. That's all we need in the bucket. Got it. Nope, turn yeah. the rest loose. Oh, there we go. Let go. <laughs> oh, 
you're what, girl? Go. Get the bubbler. Oh, hey, they're flying out. Go, close it. No, I want it. Ah, he's gone. Dang. There we go. It was tall. Perfect. That's the one thing with mullet, they will fly out of the bucket, so you gotta make sure you close that lid super fast if you don't have a lot of mullet. In our case, this beach is loaded with mullet. Not only are we experiencing Hurricane Ian, but we also are experiencing the mullet run over here in Florida. Oh my God! <laughs> a mullet just escaped. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> See? <laughs> mullet are always fun. And pretty much everything eats mullet. I'm going to see if I can't take the zoom camera and zoom into these mullet flipping at the surface. Every now and then, sometimes it can be hard to get on camera. The uh, big fish, tarpon, or snook will be attacking the big school of mullet and all of them will just fly out of the water. It's absolutely insane. I mean, it's National Geographic type stuff. Oh, he ran. There's two mullet trapped in a little water puddle. They're fast. You gotta be mullet fingers. If you guys know the movie Hoot, uh, the boy with the long blonde hair called Mullet Fingers, that was my middle school crush right there. He'd go in the water and catch mullets with his fingers. Look at this mullet. Look at him right there. Hello, little mullet. He's so cute. He's like, how do I get out of here? Hooking this mullet right through the nose. I should have brought shorts. under you so right now I'm walking my one bait in the water from back there to up under this bridge hopefully without losing them because I'm not carrying the bucket over here so I gotta walk my way over there stay on little guy I think before I get under the bridge, I'm gonna make a little pit stop right here in between that tree to the left and that sign on the right and cast it out there and see what happens. Interesting. Where are you? I'm straight out that way. All right, little guy, bring in the schnook.
fish, Charlotte? What do you have? Crabs. 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 And a lobster right here. Oh my Shiny gosh. Dish. A Take lobster? Now. Look, he's got a big claw and a little claw. A little crawfish. How cool is that? That's awesome. Oh, that's my cookie. Yeah? Yeah, I really like them, but I was trying to find some and I did. You did? Where did you find the crawfish? Um, Under a rock? My brother found it. Your brother found that one? And now, I it. Oh, alright. We didn't want to get it, so I caught it. Okay. You got one? Yeah. Woohoo! Look at him! What did you have, live or dead? Live. Nice. A little snooky snook. Woo. So we've been out here fishing for probably about an hour and a half. Maybe even pushing two hours, honestly. It's three o'clock right now. Ooh. Snook have a really sharp gill plate. Let me show you guys. Oh, you got to hold on to them for dear life because when they shake, they're just like a... Right there. Grass. That's a sharp gill plate you got right me there. Right here. Ooh, never fails. Nice. Let's get a quick pick. Yeah. One, two, three. Got it. On the water? Yeah, I think I think the other one was like twenty six and stuff. This one was like twenty Yeah, mine? Oh there he goes. Aw. So cute. Well, so Chelsea actually caught a snook, a 27 inch snook, which is one inch too short from keeping it and putting it in an ice box. Uh, Abram snook, AKA Tarzan, was probably about 25 inches um, too short. So we let him go. Look at all this bait. Oh, look at the toady. Bossy little one. <laughs> we need to get on oh. Needlefish? Mullet? Oh, there's another needlefish right here. There's a needlefish in the net. <laughs> you see this red seaweed right here? This is a really, really good sign. This is healthy, healthy seaweed. That bite's fixing the head so now. So, what, uh, what are you doing with Go those baby fish? Up, uh, putting them in my pack. Things that collects me get all my stuff. You're collecting fish? Yeah. She's collecting her fish and putting them in a hat. R.I.P. Come on. Don't put any more bullets in this bucket. We got our whole crew out here. We have neighbor, we have neighbor. We have Tom, our neighbor, and his two sons, so. Kelly, we got the whole we, neighborhood Kelly, come here, here real quick. Can we talk about what this is right here? That's what you usually have. I try to grow, I can't grow one. It's, <laughs> it's amazing what that is. <laughs> I found five of these pearl things. It's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. They look like little rocks, but I think they're seeds. Huh. They are not seeds. They have something in them. Cool. All right, so I went ahead and switched to dead bait because Chelsea caught hers, her snook on a dead bait, but I think since slack's over, the tide's starting to rip out, I'm gonna put a live bait on because it seems like the action's starting to pick up a little bit, so. But what about our pizza? Yes, we have to get pizza in 15 minutes. Okay. You guys ever seen that video online of that little girl hugging that largemouth bass when it's completely alive and she's hugging it because she doesn't want to let it go? <laughs> it's okay, fish. It's okay. I love you. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, fish. But the dad's like, you have to put it in the water. Like, it's gonna die if you don't let it go. And she's like, I don't want to. That's what Charlotte reminds me of that little girl. It's so cute. She was saying, it's okay, fish. It's, it's okay, okay, fish. That's like one of my favorite videos. So we have a bucket full of finger mullet here. I'm just gonna hook him right through the nose. Like that. These mold are 
pretty hardy too. Right. I'm trying to point the camera away from that annoying sounding bug. You hear it? Is that a cicada? I literally do not like that. When you're bow hunting in Florida, those things just kill your eardrums. Yeah, I don't like those cicadas. And it's just a waiting game with the mullet run because there's so much bait in the water. Like, honestly, I think it's kind of hard to fish during the mullet run because there's so much bait. But if there's a tarpon and you see them skying out of the water, you pitch it just right, right in front of them, you have a good chance of getting hit. This is better than being stuck in the house with seven kids. Six, but yes. Six? Including you, seven. What about Tom? He's eight. <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Heck, we're all kids in reality. Look at the little mullet right here. Poor guys are just trying to survive. That was terrible. <laughs> well, you stopped when I thought you were going to keep walking. Charlotte, are you watering my plants? They might have gotten a lot of water in the last few days from the hurricane. This one's really shiny. Yeah, that's my pineapple. That's a pineapple plant. Yeah, is this one too? No, this is aloe. So when you get sunburned, you can put this on your skin and it'll soothe your skin. Uh-oh, this one must have fell and broke. That does not look good. So this is Miss Charlotte. She was out fishing with us yesterday. If you guys can't tell, this is the following day and the hurricane Ian is up in Northern Florida, pushing towards Georgia now. It's pretty much dissipating. Um, it's a tropical storm now, not so much a hurricane, but we didn't get need, too much damage over here. I need some more water. More water? I'll get you some more water in a minute. Uh, well, let's I'll see. I'll hold the camera for you. <laughs> That's okay, I got it. Finley's out here enjoying the wind. My banana trees are so ripped up right now. Oh man. Banana trees do not like wind. The tarp over the chicken coops are ripped off. As you guys can see, super windy out here. Luckily, this stayed pretty sturdy. All the chickens are okay. Our fence did get a little bit of a damage. It is an older fence. Ooh. Ooh, we'll have to fix that. That's gonna be a pain in the booty. Please don't fall on my tree. I just planted this tangelo tree a couple months ago, but our fence broke. Um, there's just a lot of debris, leaves, trash. This is part of the chicken coop. Luckily, over here Daddy on the east coast, video. you did. And the head. I know. I know. Um, the head off right here. I think the wind just knocked it off. It pieces together. Uh, luckily over here on the East Coast, uh, the second day the hurricane was here, we had absolutely like no, no rain, no water. It was just windy. That's it. I mean, the grass is dry. The night before the hurricane hit, it poured down so hard. Now we're just dealing with 40 to 60 mile an hour winds. Of your feet? Yeah, what, yeah. What's wrong with your feet? They just turned white. They turned white? Yeah. I'm surprised some coconuts didn't fall. The ones up there on the tree? I don't know how they didn't fall, but they didn't. Some of my plants lost some leaves, but that's alright. 
I think we're gonna get in the car and drive around a little bit. Um, the hurricane's pretty much gone, like I said. We're just dealing with a little bit of the outer bands of a tropical storm. Uh, you want me to do you give me some more water oh, here? Oh, yes. All right, put it under here. Put it on the ground. Yeah, line up the hole with the um, hose. You ready? Yeah. Miss Charlotte is making sure all my plants have water. Whoa! Too much. Turn it off. <laughs> okay. It's very heavy now. <laughs> She's so adorable, you guys. Girls and boys are so different. It's so funny. All right, Miss Charlotte. I think this one over here needs some water. Yeah. It's so heavy. It sure is heavy. All right, so we might get in the car and just drive around and see if there's any more damage. Um, fortunate for us on the East Coast, we didn't get hit too hard. However, uh, Central Florida and the West Coast, a lot of damage, a lot of flooding. People's houses had two, three feet of water in them. Like, it's not good. Uh, Gabe and the boys just went over to Trevor's house in Ona, Florida, which is, which was pretty much a direct hit with the hurricane. They're helping Trevor. Um, move tree limbs and helping him with anything that he needs right now. I know some cell towers went out So we didn't have a lot of communication with each other um, So I'll show you a couple of clips over there at Trevor's um, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go because I had to stay back with Luke Because uh, Luke went to his mom's and I have Chelsea here with the two little girls The baby girl in there is one years old and then <laughs> Charlotte is three or four What's that? The, the very big ones need a one Wow, but it won't yeah. that much. Okay, well we can fill it up again. So, you guys are just along for the ride. This is a vlog video about the hurricane. As you see, we went fishing yesterday. It's a little mister. You missed the, the plants, the leaves with it. And that's oh, that. I um, try. It's just windy out here.